If you are looking for a private PC right now, you can find a bunch of deals because of the Memorial Day. For that reason, I will show you the best deals from 480 bucks all the way up to $3,000. So if your budget is between those ranges, I highly recommend you watching this whole video. And if your budget is different, let's say you have more than $3,000, you will have more PCs down below in the video description alongside all of these private PCs. And don't worry, I will explain what each of these systems are going to be able to run and at which resolution. So if you don't understand anything about PC components, you will understand how these PCs can perform. That being said, let's start. With the first one, we have a very basic system for 490 bucks in the Victus 15L with the i5-12400 and the Intel Arc A380. You get 8 gigs of RAM, 2x4, meaning that it's dual channel, and you get 256 gigs of SSD. Now, like I said before, this is a very basic system, but if you want to play the easy to run titles like Valorant, CSGO, Fortnite, even GTA 5, this PC is all that you're going to need for 1080p gaming. So for 490 bucks, you're getting a functional system that will run titles at 1080p. Of course, if you're thinking of Cyberpunk 2077, ultra settings, this is not the right PC for you. But if your budget is around 500 bucks and you just want a nice system, this one is actually a great choice. With the next one, we have the Skytech Nebula. And let me tell you, we have like three of these PCs on this video because of how good their sales are. This one has the AMD Ryzen 5 3600, which is still a really solid CPU in 2023. And we get the RTX 3060, which is a 1080p GPU that will get the job done in every single game. Literally, there's no game that you can't run at 1080p smoothly. So yes, even games like Fly Simulator or Cyberpunk 2077, of course, depending on the settings. You get 500 gigs of SSD, so you get more storage than the last one, and you get 16 gigs of RAM, so no need for an upgrade here. You also get better airflow with that from each panel, and a really nice case. I absolutely love the design of this system, and it's only going for 850 bucks, which is a really good price considering the private PC market. With the next one, we have another 15L. This one is an upgraded version, and I've been mentioning this PC for a while now. And the reason why is because you get a Ryzen 7 processor with the RX 6600 XT, 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte of hard drive alongside 500 gigs of SSD, so even more storage than the last one. And if you don't know anything about computers, this one is also a 1440p capable gaming system. The RX 6600 XT is a great 1080p graphics card, but you can also use it for 1440p depending on the title. For games like Red Dead Redemption 2 at 1440p high settings, you will have no issues. But just like I said with the first PC at 1080p, if you're thinking of 1440p really high FPS, you're looking to spend more money than this. The total price for this PC is 970 bucks. So if you're just under $1,000 on your budget, this system is definitely my favorite one. With the next one, we have the second Nebula. This one is not on sale, but it's a new one. And I think the price is actually pretty decent. You get the AMD Ryzen 5, 5700X and you also get the new RTX 4060 Ti. The 4060 Ti is a 1080p and 1440p graphics card. You will get higher FPS than the last one with the RX 6600 XT and is much more power efficient so you will also save up money on your electricity bill. You get a terabyte of NVMe SSD which is enough and a 240 all-in-one liquid cooler which is not necessary for the Ryzen 7 5700X but it's nice to have in case you want to swap the CPU in the future for something that is more powerful. Full. However, just for a hang with extra bucks, another Nebula that's on sale, you get the RTX 4070, which is much better in terms of performance than the 4060 Ti. This is a 1440p GPU, and you can also use it for 4K, depending on the game and the settings. But at 1440p, you can run everything, even on ultra settings. You also get more VRAM. With the 4060 Ti, you get 8 gigs of VRAM. And here you get 12 gigs of VRAM. If you have no idea what that means, trust me, having 12 gigs of VRAM right now in 2023 for 1440p and 4K gaming is a must. Most new AAA titles and upcoming AAA titles as well are going to be using a ton of VRAM and 8 gigs is just not enough for a graphics card. But of course, I'm talking about the new and upcoming titles. If we are talking about the popular games such as Fortnite and, and basically every game that's on the top 10 most played video games, you will have no issues with these type of games. But for example, if we are talking about a game like Howard's Legacy, that game consumes a ton of VRAM. So having 12 gigs instead of 8 is becoming really important. With the next one, we have one from Amazon in the Chronos PC. For $1,700, you end up saving 200 bucks and you get the same Ryzen 750 700X, which is a great processor. An important part here is that you get the RTX 4070 Ti. I currently have on my PC build this GPU 
and it's a 1440p beast. This is my limit for 1440p. I wouldn't buy any GPU that's above the RTX 4070 Ti for 1440p gaming, such as the RTX 4080, 4090, or RX 7900 XTX. Also, the 4070 Ti can play games at 1440p with no issues, once again, depending on the game and the settings, and it comes with 12 gigs of VRAM. So, for 1700 bucks, you're getting a great system. And if you want to see the estimated performance, I have my video about the RTX 4070 Ti benchmarks in different titles, you can expect a really similar performance. You can watch that video in the top right of the screen. And with the best one, we have a really expensive system for 3000 bucks, and I know that it's a big price jump from 1700 to 3000, so let's say your budget is 2500, you will have a different system in the video description. But here you get the latest RTX 4090 and the i9 3900K for just $3000. And I know I said just, but considering the prices for a 4090 system, this is actually a pretty decent price, you end up saving a thousand bucks which is a ton of money. Usually the cheapest RTX 4090 private PC out there is going to be at least $3400 so you end up saving 400 bucks if we compare it with the average 4090 PC. And yes, this one has 16 gigs of RAM, which is not ideal for 4090 and the i9 3900K, considering how much you're spending. But in that case, I would recommend you upgrading the RAM. It's only gonna cost you $50 max, and the total price, if you do that, is going to be around 3,050 bucks, which still saves you a ton of money for the greatest performance at 4K. So yes, the 4090 is the most powerful GPU out there, so it can run your favorite title at the highest resolution. But if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. And if you're willing to build a PC yourself, we all know that building a PC is cheaper and it's also going to give you more performance. So I highly recommend you watching my video about the top three best PC builds of the month in the top right of the screen, where I go over systems that are better in terms of value than private PCs. But of course, if you're not willing to build it yourself, having a private PC is actually a nice thing and you should always pick the right one for you. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.